वेलकम टू एस टी बी एग्ज़ाम फोरम वी हैव कम अप विद प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओके सो फर्स्ट द डिस्कलेमर ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर मेमरी बेस्ड एंड कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम वेरियस सोर्सेज एंड अवर स्टूडेंट फीडबैक राइट स्टूडेंट सेकेंड दिस एग्जाम वॉज हेल्ड ऑन फिफ्टीन टू नाइनटीन डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन That is September नाइन Okay. Point number थ्री As you know, English is uh, very difficult to recollect after the exam. So the student only remember the topic what they have been asked. Okay. So uh, these are the some disclaimer point you should note down. So coming to the question first, uh, read the passage carefully and choose the best answer to each of the questions. out of four alternative okay so basically this is comprehension so in that exam two passages of four to five questions uh, were asked okay and uh, in those passages uh, moral stories are there okay so accordingly you can uh, prepare your uh, comprehension section of english language okay coming to the next uh, out of four alternative Uh, choose one which best expresses the meaning of given word what does this mean this is synonyms so uh, you are seeing uh, eight uh, synonyms here but only two will be asked in the exam uh, these are the synonyms which have been asked in different shift okay so only two will be asked in the synonym section what are the synonyms they have asked in that exam clear ordinary apathy monstrous and creation pungent theek okay? hai coming to the next uh, this is uh, similar to question number 2 but here they have asked the opposite in meaning opposite in meaning means antonyms okay again two questions uh, are asked uh, in that exam and uh, these are some of the questions they have asked virtuous violent blunt nadir fault and strength okay these are the some word they have asked in exam okay coming to the next question in the given questions uh, four words are given out of which only one word is correctly spelled find the correctly spelled word okay this question come under the category of misspelled word again two question can be asked in this section so these are the some uh, misspelled word uh, questions uh, was asked in that exam remuneration blizzard strategy stipulate historical and establishment okay there will be four option uh, you have to choose the correctly spelled word okay student coming to the next question in the given question uh, choose one which can be substituted for the given word this is one word substitution okay so these two have been asked uh, which student can able to remember one seller many buyer uh, this will be the given uh, phrase and uh, the one word substitution will be monopoly similarly with priest ruling a country uh, one word for that will be theocracy okay accordingly you can uh, plan your english language okay coming to the next question in the given question four alternatives are given for the idiom or phrase printed in bold okay some bold letter will be there so you have to exp- tell the best expresses the meaning of that fe- idiom or phrases as your answer okay two to three three questions were asked uh, like uh, they have asked in that exam to keep the wolf away from the door so this was the idiom they have asked second next to the kin what is the meaning of next to the kin that you should know coming to the seventh question uh uh in the following questions a part of the sentence is printed in bold okay below are the given alternative to the bold part which may improve the sentence if no improvement is needed your option is d so this is basically sentence improvement so in that exam two to three questions were asked from this sentence improvement so one example we are going to tell you uh, this is not asked in exam so the example says we stayed in mumbai 
in five days so you can uh, easily guess the correct word that is in place of in there will be it will be four okay we stayed in mumbai for five days okay so the correct answer will be option b coming to question number eight uh, which of the following questions a sentence has been given in direct direct and indirect so you can easily think this category is direct and indirect student uh, three to four questions were asked uh, from this section uh, the example we are presenting here this is again not as asked in exam i shall go tomorrow he said so what will be the indirect uh, sentence for that question okay so you can uh, have a look on this direct and indirect subject as well coming to the question number 9 in the following question a sentence has been given in active passive voice okay so one next category will be active and passive uh, if it is given active you have to convert into passive it is if it is passive you have to convert into active so again three to four questions were asked in active passive so accordingly you can plan your uh, active passive voice topic okay the example which was not asking exam we are presenting he opens the door so these are the four option what would be the correct passive or active voice for that sentence okay that's all for student today uh, i hope uh, you like this video uh, if you like this video give a thumbs up to us and share it with your friend more and more thank you have a nice day